All right, I want to share a something that saves me a lot of time when I'm creating many ad sets. So, um, and one of the things uh, we used to have in the old Power Editor from a year or so ago is when we duplicated our ad sets, it, it retained the post ID. So that means that it would keep the social proof on one one ad. So the current behavior in um, the ads manager right now is when you duplicate an ad set, it creates a whole new post. Now, not only what, what I'm about to show you will retain the post ID, it also makes it a lot faster to duplicate many ad sets. So like, um, like yesterday, I was setting up um, close to 20 ad sets for a product, and I got this done. I mean, it was really easy to do it quickly this way. And um, so basically what we're going to do is use the ex import, you know, the export import uh, function inside of of the uh, Facebook ads manager. And so let's just go quickly if, if this is a, uh, something new to you. Um, so inside the ads manager, there's a campaign level, the ad set level and the ad level. And and you can have uh, you know inside of a, a campaign you can have more multiple ads inside of an uh, I'm sorry inside a campaign you can have multiple ad sets and in each ad set you can have multiple ads um, so you know I think like the nightmare scenario is when you're mul you're duplicating ad sets and you have say you have two or three or four ads in each ad set and in order to, in order to keep the social proof onto the ad itself is you'd have to manually put in the post IDs inside of each of those um, ads. So anyway, the the what I'm going to show you will retain the post IDs. It's fairly simple. You just need a, you know a spreadsheet, and you need to edit, It'll do just a very small edit. The only thing we're going to do is uh, delete the ad set. I is it, we're going to export the file. We're going to export a a an ad set. We're first going to start off with an ad set that's set up the way we want it. You know, for the, the most part, the placements, and and you know, placements, budgets, whatever you want to do. But in this example, we're only uh, I'm interested in in duplicating ad sets. And the only thing I just I want to keep everything the same, um, and except of course we need to remove the. These are the three fields that we're going to change or delete. The ad set ID, we're going to take it out. The ad set name, we're just going to change it so it's easy to recognize which one hasn't been edited. And the ad ID, we're going to delete that. So those, that's like the minimum to kind of make this really easy. So there's a lot of other things you can edit in here. Um, absolutely, you know, once uh, once you kind of get how this whole thing works, there's a lot there's a lot other of other powerful things that you can do with this but we're just going to focus on on just this really quick and easy way to duplicate ad sets and keep the post id um so let's see okay ad set id ad set name ad id so we're gonna those are the things we're going to modify so let's get into my uh, ads manager we're going to pick an ad set that I'm going to make sure nothing selected here. Um, make sure nothing selected. I'm going to select the ad set that I want to duplicate or that I'm going to use as my template for the duplication session that I'm in right now. So I'll just click this box right here and then I'm going to click on the import export and I'm going to click export selected. So I only want this one ad set um, uh, exported. So I click selected and then it's going to tell me to save it and I'm going to save it and now I'm going to open it up in Excel all right so the first thing we're going to do is we'll just kind of look at this a little bit the campaign this is the campaign ID that is uh, you don't see it's in this first column and we're going to leave that alone because we want this ad set to go into that campaign. But the first thing we're going to delete is right here, the ad set ID. We're going to take that out um, because what this does, if we left this in, it would update the current ad set. So we're going to delete this to create a new one. And we're also going to take out the, we're going to change the name. We're going to delete the name 
and N E W and N E W. Okay, now uh, I guess one of the things I need to answer is is so you saw that I only selected one ad set to uh, export. Why is there why are there two lines? It's because in this ad set there are two ads. So and each of those ads, each ad has an uh, points to a post ID. And if you want to look at your post IDs, you just go in your ads manager and select go to the ad, the menu and select page posts for and for that for the, for the page you choose, it'll actually show you all the post IDs. All right, so we've changed the name. So, and then our last thing is to do a, um, it's the add ID we're gonna delete. So we're gonna scroll over here. Um, let's find the add ID, add ID, add ID. Where's the add ID? Uh, add ID right here. We're just gonna take that and delete the those and then yeah it's gonna it's it's okay we're not um, um, so just make sure we so we have done these three so ad set ID we deleted ad set name we changed ad ID we deleted let's go back to the spreadsheet and then I we're gonna save this file uh, save as and then I'm going to call it something. I'm going to call. I'm just going to type "edited" on here. E. D. I. T. Edit. Now it's going to save it as a text. That it, the default in in um, Excel, it's it's going to save it as text. It's actually going to give a TXT extension, and that's perfectly fine. It works. This works fine. So I'm going to click Save. And then it's it's now saved. Now I just go into Ads Manager. I'm just gonna uncheck everything, and then import. Now we're gonna import ads. So we import ads, and then we're gonna click on this, and we're gonna choose the file. Uh, and this 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 last one here we just did. I'm going to double click on that and click import and if everything goes right we should have no errors okay it'll say one can so for uh, this is correct so one campaign one ad set two ads so um, no errors and so if I click now close we've got our new ad set is all, all ready to go here so all I need to do now is edit this and it will uh, everything's all set up for me. All I need to do is give it a name and change the targeting and I'm ready to go. See how easy that is. All right, so that is it. So I'm not going to publish this, of course, um, but that's it. So and then you can do that over and over and over and over again. So um, it's usually, uh, you, of course, whatever you export needs to have the, all the parameters you want for all the subsequent um, uh, duplications so I have uh, like placements that I have set up uh, so when I'm ready I mean it was just a breeze to to push out 20 ad sets this way all I had to do is change the name and the targeting um, you could do that inside the um, inside on the spreadsheet also um, it, that's just a little bit a little bit more uh, uh, need a little bit more knowledge to you know to update all those fields but this is the really quick and easy way very simple only just change these three things and then upload it back in and you're ready to go and you all you have to you could set up all your uh, ad sets and bang 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 you go right through change the name change the targeting and you're all ready to go